friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Well, I'm here for an update on the maple syrup long-term storage. And so far I have had the syrup like this stored for about 11 months. And I did a video on this last year, but I want to give you an update because I've learned some things since and why the way I did this is the best method. And I'm going to be showing you exactly what I did for those of you who are new. So let me do that first. Let me show you how I preserve the maple syrup. So here's some maple syrup I get from Costco. And sadly, it's stored in a plastic jug. And I highly recommend if you buy maple syrup at all in plastic jugs, try to get it out of there as soon as possible. You're just gonna get a better long-term storage that way. And you're getting it out of the plastic. So I find the easiest way to pull these things off is to get some forceps, curved or straight, and just pull it off that way if your hands have a hard time grabbing that tab and slipping them off there. And then I'm simply going to pour the maple syrup into my quart jar. I probably should have a little bit left, and I do. And I like to pour it right up to the, just below where the threading starts. And then in that video, I said, I don't, you shouldn't have to vacuum seal it because it is a sugar and sugar can store for long term. But you need to know that vacuum sealing in this case with the maple syrup, that you won't need to do it with honey, with maple syrup. Yes, it is very important that you do this. So there's a couple, several ways you can do this. You can do it by using this little cheapo cheapo method here that I'll link to a set like this down below. Uh, the next method, which is my personal favorite, is using the Food Saver top or any kind of one of the, even if it's an off-brand top with the handle, because that makes it easier to use. You can do this, this works the same way, but the pump is different. And I have a video on how to use this, I'll link to down below. And then a brake bleeder pump, and yes, it is found in automotive, not in food pre preparation or storage. And I just insert the tip and the top of the food saver. I can still, I can use this one with the same thing. And I vacuum, I just pump it up. It does, and these vacuum seal very quickly because it's very dense. So you have very little air to pull out of there. There we go. And it is sealed. Even as heavy as that is, that lid is not coming off. And so I'm going to put the band on. I suggest whenever you're vacuum sealing, always put your band on snugly. You don't have to crank it on super tight, just put it on snug. That way, if for some reason the seal does get lost, maybe I haven't lost the seal on any of my maple syrups, but if it does, at least you have that band holding it in place. Because when you go to grab that jar, you might not know that this, the seal has come loose on the lid and if the band's not there to hold it in place, you're gonna get maple syrup all over yourself, all over your pantry. And then the third method of vacuum sealing would be to use these the vacuum chamber that Patrick makes and we do sell these. You have to contact me at the email address you'll find in the description box down below. If you're interested, we make two sizes, the quart and the half gallon. But um, I use these for jars that aren't canning jars where these types of tops won't fit. So green olive jars, pickle jars, uh, anything that will fit inside the chamber that has a good snug lid that went that goes with the jar. A lug lid will work just fine, just like you can see in the picture here with the green olive jar and the walnuts that I have stored in there. And you just put that in there. I've got a separate brake bleeder that I have uh, attached to the chamber and then I pump it up the same way. It does take a little bit longer because you have to remove the air from the chamber and then out of the jar as well. And yes, you can stick any size jar that will, as long as it fits all the way down into the chamber, both width and height, and you can still get the lid on snug, it'll work. If you want more information on how to use this, I'll link to that video down below as well. Oh, and also the one on tips on using the brake bleeder pump. So you have several different ways that you can vacuum seal. You can also use your food saver machine and if you have one and other types of vacuum pumps that are electric if you prefer. So let's talk a little bit about this storage. So coming back to this, um, you can see, you can see a little bit right here. If you look real close, what you're seeing there is a little bit of bubbles, a little bit of the sugar that sort of crystallized a little bit in time. 
but absolutely no mold. I was really surprised when I shot that video last year and people were telling me that they found mold at the top of their maple syrup. I had no idea because I never ever seen that happen in any maple syrup that I've stored. I was buying some, paying a lot more for it at our local store in glass bottles and I just put them away in those, never any problems. So if you're buying your maple syrup like that and they got glass bottles with the lid on, you're probably gonna be fine. But I had people tell me that they bought the syrup. I, I don't remember what containers, maybe it was this kind when they went to open it up, they found mold on top. So personally, I've never seen that, but several have said that. But I had a lady recently contact me and tell me that she did this last year but she had one jar that she had left open. And she said none of the ones that were vacuum sealed developed mold on the top, but the one that she did not vacuum seal did get mold on top. So I, that's why I wanted to bring this video out again, that yes, I highly recommend that you do vacuum seal it if you wanna prevent mold growth on the top of your maple syrup. My guess is because maple syrup has more water in it than let's say honey and molasses, where neither of those would need to be vacuum sealed. They just don't go bad, they don't mold. So, and maybe a lower sugar content, which makes sense to me. So yes, if you're gonna store your maple syrup long-term, and you're wanting to get it out of the containers you purchased it in, especially if they're plastic, then canning jars or recycled glass jars that you vacuum seal, get a good tight seal on it, and you shouldn't have any problems. It should last for many years like this. As long as your seal stays intact, and I recommend checking them every so often, maybe every few months, make it a routine to go check the seals on your jars of whatever it is that you're vacuum sealing. So that's all I wanted to say today, just to let you know how the long-term storage is going in the glass jars that are vacuum sealed, and to let you know that if you're gonna do this, please vacuum seal your jars to get a good long storage out of your maple syrup. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.